here you can see apache kafka architecture here you can see kafka brokers here you can see server 1 which is the kafka broker which act as a leader here you can see server 2 which is the kafka broker which act as a follower here you can see server 3 which is a kafka broker which act as a follower and uh, server 1 partition 1 is there and uh, server 2 partition 2 is there and uh, server 3 partition 3 is there and uh, replica of uh, this partition 1 is there in this server 1 and uh, replica of uh, this partition 2 is there in server 2 and uh, replica of uh, this partition 3 is there in uh, server 3 and uh, here you can see the topic topic has uh, partition 1 partition 2 and uh, partition 3 here you can see producer 1 and producer 2 producer 1 writes data to these two partitions and uh, producer 2 writes data to this partition and uh, here you can see consumer group which has uh, three consumers consumer 1 consumer 2 and uh, consumer 3 consumer 1 subscribe to the topic and uh, read data from partition 1 consumer 2 subscribe to the topic and uh, read data from partition 2 consumer 3 subscribe to the topic and uh, read data from partition 3 here you can see the topic which is configured into three partitions partition 1 partition 2 and partition 3 partition 1 has uh, three offset factors partition 2 has uh, two offset factors partition 3 has uh, four offset factors and uh, here you can see partition 1 and uh, replica of uh, partition 1 is this replica 1 and partition 2 replica is replica 2 partition 3 replica is replica 3 and id of this replica will be same as id of this particular server suppose kafka server id is 1 then replica id will be 1 and kafka server id is 2 then replica id will be 2 Suppose uh, replication factor of uh, this topic is set as 3, then uh, Kafka will create 3 identical replicas of uh, each of these partitions and uh, place this replica in the Kafka cluster so that this replica will be available for all of uh, Kafka related operations. And uh, multiple producers and multiple consumers can publish and retrieve messages at the same time. Here you can see the topic. A stream of messages belonging to the particular category is called topic and data is stored in the topics. Suppose say the topic name is animal, then animal related messages will be stored in animal topic. Suppose say the topic name is food, then food related messages will be stored in food topic and topics are split into partitions and each topic will have minimum of uh, one partition and each partition contains messages in the immutable ordered sequence and uh, partition is implemented as a set of uh, segment files of uh, equal sizes and uh, topic may have many partitions so that uh, it can handle an arbitrary amount of uh, data partition offset each partition messages unique sequence id which is called uh, offset replicas of uh, partition replicas are nothing but backup of uh, partition here you can see replica 1 which is backup of uh, partition 1 here you can see replica 2 which is backup of uh, partition 2 here you can see replica 3 which is backup of uh, partition 3 replicas are uh, never read the data or uh, never write the data replicas are used to prevent the data loss now we will see kafka brokers here there are three kafka brokers are there server 1 is uh, one kafka broker and uh, server 2 is uh, another kafka broker and uh, server 3 is uh, another kafka broker and in that server 1 is the leader 
and uh, server 2 and server 3 are followers and uh, brokers are uh, simple system and uh, responsibility of uh, Kafka broker is it will maintain the published data and uh, each broker may have uh, zero or more partitions per topic. Suppose say there are uh, three partition in a topic and uh, there are uh, three brokers then each broker will have one partition. Assume there are uh, three partitions in a topic and uh, there are uh, five brokers. In this case first three brokers will have one one partition and uh, remaining two brokers will not have any partition for the particular topic and uh, assume there are uh, three partition in a topic and uh, there are uh, two brokers in that case first broker will have uh, two partition and uh, second broker will have uh, one partition and uh, this scenario is not recommended due to unequal load distribution among the broker now we will see kafka cluster kafka is having more than one broker are called kafka cluster and we can expand the kafka cluster without any downtime and these clusters are used to manage the persistence of message data and replication of message data here you can see the producers Producer is also called publisher. Publisher publish messages to one or more topics. And producer send data to Kafka brokers. And every time producer publish message to the broker, the broker simply append the message to the partition at the end. And producer can also send message to the partition of their choice. Here you can see consumers. Consumers read data from brokers. Consumers subscribe to one or more topics and consume published message by pulling data from the brokers. Here you can see the leader. Leader is the node which is responsible for all reads and writes for the given partition. And every partition has one server acting as a leader. Here you can see the followers. Follower is the node which uh, follows the leader instructions and uh, if the leader fails one of the follower will automatically become the new leader and uh, follower act as a normal consumer which uh, pulls the messages and uh, updates its uh, own data store. You can get uh, Java source code link for uh, each video from the description section of the video. And uh, here you can see the video. And uh, to see the description, click on this uh, more. And uh, here you can see the description. And uh, here you can see the links. And uh, click on these links to get the Java source code.